As most of you know by now, Curse Forge has been bought from Twitch by Overwolf, which means the add-on bit of the Twitch app is going to be gone and discontinued very soon, and all of that is going to be moving over to Overwolf. I want to talk to you today about the opportunity that that brings, which is checking out some third-party add-on developers, such as WowUp. Um, I've had this question a lot lately, mostly on stream, where uh, people are asking me, Chev, I, I'm going to be unable to get my add-ons off of the Twitch app soon. Where do I get them now? Where, do, where are they going? So um, I've actually been pointing people to WowUp. Uh, I have a short clip from stream that I want to show you just so I can help more people who potentially have the same question. First, we're going to look at a clip of me installing WowUp, downloading it, showing you guys what is up with that. And um, afterwards, we'll talk about it a little bit more. This recording right now is a couple days after said stream. And I've had a couple more ideas pop into my mind regarding it, some things I think I missed. Now, I want to make sure I give you guys the best information possible. All right, so let's dive into the clip and then uh, go with it from there. Enjoy. All right, it's a penis on stream. Oh, Pog did. That's hype. Is it bigger than yours? This chat, true. Have you noticed that we were having a really good chat here and it was all fun and games and then Scott came in? Let's hope everybody noticed that. I know, Dougie. It's all right, man. Anyway, so I've been having a lot of people message me asking about the, the add-on thing going on, right? Because the Twitch app is going to be pretty much discontinued or they're going to stop being updated, either or. And stuff was going to be moving over to Overwolf. And if you're anything like me, you don't really want to move over to Overwolf. And because of all this shit going on, more third-party apps have risen. And I actually found out about one recently. I'd rather shoot myself on. And this video is for you, Doug. Or this, this thing. Because you got this now. Wow up. I've, uh, I messaged, I put a message on Discord, I think a month ago. Where I recommended it. I started trying this roughly a month ago. This shit is good. So I'm still recommending everybody that is asking to like, what do I switch to now that the Twitch app is going to be gone or not gone, but now that we won't be able to update our add-ons there anymore. And I've said to everyone, use wow up. Hello, Rakona. So I've, I've been telling everybody you should try wow up. So what I want to do is I want to unpack this quick and I want to show you guys. Because it's that simple, you hit the download button for the stable version on wowup.io and then you get the download, you unpack it, look at that, this is it, this is all there is to it. You unpack it and you go. Wowup is fantastic, Dev. Like, it's already so you can rescan your phone, it, it literally opens up like this. You hit a little quick rescan, fuck it, why not? It updates LVR. Exactly that. It doesn't only do the add-ons that you had on the Twitch app. It does so much more. Even when the Twitch app was still there, I started this up for retail and I had add-on updates that weren't even showing on Twitch. So LVUI, for example, look at that. Latest version 12.8. I can update LVUI, MDT, everything here. We just update all. This is retail. I don't updates that aren't even there no but wait there's more i feel like that yeah i'm i'm like billy Mays right now dude but wait there's more chat because retail you got beta all the beta stuff is up to date as well so i might as well update my details quick for whenever i play again but you should honestly check this shit out it is good i promise as long as Overwolf doesn't mess with these guys, I think they'll be a very good and probably better alternative than, or like they'll be better than what Twitch, what the Twitch app was. Not weak RS, no, no, no. Weak for weak RS. Uh, wait, let me start it quick. Where is it? This weak RS. You should still use this. 
the weak aura companion but that's a whole different thing this is not weak aura this is only add-ons not weak auras weak auras you use weak auras companion add-ons i would recommend use this it does everything you need it to do Yeah, that's a good call. Use Wigar's companion and use this and you have all your bases covered. And I'm hoping with this, I can cut down on you guys asking me that question. Sell out Chef stream? I wish. Someone said it earlier. It's like, Chef, is this an advertisement? I'm like, wait. They said, Chef, is this an advertisement? Honestly, I fucking wish. I like money, but it isn't. I just like this app. I've been using WoW up since pre-patch start, and that's a good call, dude. But yeah, honestly, like I said, I just want to take 10 minutes here, and I want to run over this with you guys really quick. Because it's... This is it. You want to be... If, give it a shot. Try it. There's, there's, it's simple to use. It updates everything. Honestly, I haven't found a complaint yet. How idiot-proof is it to copy over everything from Twitch? What do you mean, like, copy? Oh, you don't have to do anything, Danny. You don't have to copy anything over. So, uh, when I first started this, it already had my Warcraft folder selected. And it just, you select them, you put in the correct folder, it scans for add-ons. So, you have rescan folders. It scans what's in there, and it will show you the updates, all of UI, everything. It's that simple to use. You just open it, and you're good. You just scan the folders. Like, make sure you have the correct folder set. And then scan folders. That simple. Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to run over that quick, and I think we're good to go do keys now. Did you prime Danny to ask the dumb question? I didn't have to. He's got that under control himself. Because I'm a firm believer of you can't bash it before you've tried it. I just downloaded the Curse Forge on Overwolf app. And we're going to try it before we bash it. <laughs> no, but seriously. Um, I just downloaded the app because it came out a couple days after my little stream bit about WoW Up. Um, I figured, you know what? Let's give it a download. Let's try it. And we'll see what happens. First thing I noticed when installing was uh, you might want to hit the manage button when installing and tick off all the um, except kind of pretty much like an accept these cookies kind of box. There's a lot of tracking stuff, it feels like. Uh, you can tick it all off, though, which is actually nice. That was one of the major complaints regarding Overwolf that I've read about. Uh, you can tick all that off at least. There's a couple things you can tick off. Uh, you can see that for yourself. Well, I'm not diving into that. My issue is going to be with the, the app itself and how it is for WoW. So I've just opened it. Let's do the intro really quick. Uh, you're in control of your privacy. Kind of noticed that with the install, I guess, they let you turn off some of the things tracking you. Mod orders get 70% of the revenue. That's very nice, actually. That's one of the features I um, really like about Curse Forge. That is not really an interesting intro, though, but okay. All right, so we have add ons. We could get more add ons in here. Okay. So this is roughly the same as the Twitch app, where. It just shows you the list. You have update buttons, delete, see. Honestly, it looks exactly the same to me. I notice I don't have beta in here, which wow up did pick up instantly. Now the thing I thought of a day or two after the little stream segment is uh discoverability for add-on authors. Um if you go to Curse Forge here. Like get more add-ons you got the popular ones you got new releases you got categories um you know, audio video just like that i believe if we go to wow up here your add-ons that is missing uh, you got a list of the more popular ones it seems like 
Benic UI, LVY, Floating Combat text. But as for discoverability and us finding new add-ons, it does not offer that much. So what I'm thinking is for the upkeep and maintenance of add-ons, wow up, 100%. But if I'm looking for new add-ons to fulfill specific things and I don't know the name, and maybe like use CurseForge to look it up. Download new stuff here because it's easier to discover add-ons for now. And then use WowUp to maintain it. I think that's it. I, f I feel like I've given you everything I know regarding WowUp and the CurseForge thing and everything important. If I haven't, feel free to let me know in the comments. I will profusely apologize to you and beg for forgiveness. Thank you very much for watching. Other than that, don't forget to check out the description down below. I stream on Twitch every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 6 p.m. till 11 p.m. server time. As you might have seen, the clip earlier was from a live stream on Twitch. Come check it out, say hello, and if you really feel like going the extra mile, there is a Discord link down below. We all hang out there every day.